Can you eat a jacker valve? My whole life I've been told, no, they're not worth eating, they're trash fish, they're you know, good for shark bait, things like that. Uh, just throw them back, they're trash fish. But some other folks on YouTube say that you can eat them. So I wanted to find out for myself. I mean, I've been guilty of trashing these fish and throwing them back and you know, they taste like garbage and I've never eaten one myself. So I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is, so to speak, and uh, actually clean one of these jacker valve that I caught the other day and try it and bake it in the oven and see how it tastes. So this is gonna be a clean and cook. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a clean and cook on Jack Raval. So let's get into it and start cleaning this fish. Okay, you can see we got some nice tasty Spanish mackerel, but we're gonna clean this guy. So, apologize about the wind noise. For some reason, I guess there's a storm coming in today that the weatherman didn't know about. So, I definitely want to start it on a small juvenile because I know for a fact the big Jack or Val are going to have worms all in them. So we're just going to clean them like any other fish. Slice down the side. Go down his back. Get my thumb in there and peel him up. The meat don't look too bad. I did bleed this uh, Jack Ravel out though first. If you guys were wondering about that. Uh oh. That don't look good. Go down the ribs. Alright, there's one side. So if I screw this fillet up, I really don't care. I'm just more, I'm not trying to be fancy with it. I'm just more curious about how this guy tastes. Because if he tastes good, then these little jacks might be in trouble. Let's go up over the ribs. That's not meat, that's rib meat. I am curious, let's see what he was eating out there. Yeah, it's like a bunch of glass minnows. Something for the catfish. That's what makes them taste so nasty. That big old bloodline right there. That's what makes other fish taste nasty, even redfish, when you, if you eat that. And so what we're gonna do is try to cut most I can of that out. Yuck, I might just go like this. There we go. So it's just all I'm on is like what you would call a sampler. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to cut that bloodline out. So it's got two small jack fillets that I'm gonna keep separate from my Spanish mackerel. So we're gonna rinse those off, bag them up. Of course, put them on ice. Should get a small bag for this. For all you guys screaming in the comments, oh you didn't, you wasted half that fish. 
said, all I'm doing is seeing if this is going to be worth eating anyway for myself. Other than that, he would have got turned into shark bait or something anyway. So Now I'm going to clean all the good eating fish that I know for a fact are good to eat. So when we come back, we'll be cooking that jack along with these Spanish in the oven. All right, so we're back in the house with my nice Pepsi. You can probably hear the cat thinking she wants some of this adult Pepsi. But anyway, we've got our fillets in the pan. We're going to bake this. I got Jack Reval down here on the bottom, and this is the Spanish mackerel fillets. I got my seasonings. I'm going to start off with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna make the uh, seasoning stick real good. All right, and then we're gonna go with some sea salt. Black pepper. Put a little bit of garlic salt on here as well. Tiny bit of some Creole seasoning. There's a lot of people like, oh man, you're overloading it on the seasoning. Well, I like a lot of seasoning on my fish, so. So, Will, you put so much seasoning on it, you want to taste the jack. Well, I'm comparing it to the Spanish mackerel, which I know I do like. That's why I'm seasoning both the same. Put it on both sides and then repeat. Looks good to me. All right, so it actually came out pretty good. We're gonna plate this up real quick with jack first. There's the jack. Try to get some a bit of Spanish mackerel filet. That one kind of fell apart on me. You guys can pick it up on camera but it's actually raining outside pretty good. Alright. And well, I'll let you know. I'll try it real quick and let you guys know my opinion of it. Yes. All right. Spanish mackerel, Jack Creval. Trying to go into this unbiased. So we're going to start off with the Jack Creval. Uh, not just kid. Just kid. If you're wondering where that beeping is, that's my laundry being done. <laughs> Nothing like uh, impromptu videos. Anyway, Jack Reval is actually pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't rate it up there with uh, Redfish or anything, but I'd probably give it a like a six or a seven. You know, if I was having a slow day and that's all I was catching was Jack Reval, I would definitely take one home and eat it if I was really wanting a fish dinner. So, can you eat Jack Reval? Yes, you can. Then for the main meal, Spanish mackerel. Actually, surprisingly, the Jack Reval was better than the Spanish mackerel. It was more firm, that's for sure. The Spanish mackerel is a softer fillet. The Jack Reval is more of a firm meat. I think the biggest thing you have to do with that Jack Reval is you have to cut out that bloodline. You have to bleed them and cut out that bloodline. If you do that, you'll be okay. And uh, also eat the juvenile ones. Don't eat the big ones. So if you guys watch this and you're curious if you can eat Jack or Val, I would definitely recommend that you try. I mean, like I said, my whole life growing up, I heard that they're a trash fish. Just throw them away. You know, throw them, use them as shark bait or whatever. Uh, 
I think I'm going to start keeping a couple. Like I said, if that's all I'm getting, because that was actually pretty tasty. I didn't mind that at all. And that was baked. It wasn't like it's fried. You know, if you fried fish, fried fish tastes like fried fish. Where this is baked, they each have their own flavor. So keep one yourself, guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you would eat a Jack or Val. You know, I'm asking you guys to put the challenge on you for you to try it. You know, who knows? Maybe we can turn this whole thing around. But, hey, if you want to keep thinking they're trash fish, that's fine. I'll, eat, I'll still eat one if somebody wants to give me, give me one. <laughs> but, uh, hey, while we're at it, go ahead and leave the video a thumbs up. And click on head on over, click that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. And right next to it is the bell notification. Go ahead and smash that. Guys, I thank you for watching this video. Remember, we do more than this more. That includes eating Jack. Take care.